Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second episode of In the Craft Room with Erin. And if you're new to my channel, I am Erin. And I'm just glad that you're here and going to share with me some chattiness about my latest crafting endeavors. So I am in my craft room. I have a couple things that I wanted to show you, a couple things I wanted to share. And before I do, I just want to say that I am letting this room become a terrible mess again and if you watched my craft room tour video I did an embarrassingly shocking before and after to show you what the room looked like before I cleaned it up and kind of where it was when I was finished that day and I feel like I'm just slipping back into my old ways which is such a dumb thing to say because this truly isn't my old way like this just is my way like <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself because I create these big messes I don't clean up as I go and then I have a huge mess to tackle like whenever I get around to it, it becomes ridiculously overwhelming and then I just don't even want to come in here so before I let it get to that point I'm actually going to do some deep cleaning in here either this week or this weekend but by the end of this weekend this is going to be all done again so um, I've just been working on so many different things and just in so many different directions and that is really one of the easiest ways to create messes everywhere so I have been working with my Cricut which is back here I have been loving it I think that it is one of the most fun machines tools that I have ever had in my crafting hobbiness in my life um, it's just I've been playing with it and experimenting with it so much over the past week I guess and I just have barely scratched the surface of what it's capable of doing so I did get the Cricut maker and apparently that is um, well, it's the newest choice, but it's also, I guess, a good investment choice because anything new that Cricut comes out with from here on out is supposed to be compatible with this machine. So we'll see. Um, but it's so much fun. I've been doing personalizing and monogramming. Um, I have just been going crazy with the monogramming. I mean, it's like I'm trying to monogram everything. Like, I don't know. Nothing is off limits. I want to monogram it all. Um, but I've been doing iron-ons and some stickers and things like that. And I just got two rolls of window cling. So the only thing I will say about the Cricut is that not only is it an investment for the actual machine, regardless of which model you go with, but the accessories and the supplies you need to actually make things can become more expensive than the machine itself so I kind of felt myself you know going down that rabbit hole of you know just buying so many things and having so many ideas in my head of projects that I wanted to do and I just found that I was going a little bit too crazy and so I needed to rein it in a bit so this week I'm just kind of organizing well I'm going to be organizing some of the supplies that I got, you know, the rolls of vinyl and stuff like that, especially. And I'm going to just kind of use that. And then as I run out, then replenish. But that's kind of my style. When I get into something new, I, I don't know if you guys are like that too, but I just get into it like so full force that I don't know, like I just want to get everything I need and I just buy it all. And then... <laughs> You know who knows I don't know I don't know why I do that but anyway um so I've been doing lots of stuff with that in fact I want to share with you guys a makeup bag that I did I am back so if you guys follow me on Instagram um, perhaps you have already seen my little mead notebook this is just the Cambridge by mead brand and I just put I did a cutout of my name up there and the notes portion was already printed on this notebook so it was gold so I thought okay I have to go with like gold sticker paper gold vinyl so I did that and then I made a little pug so if you guys have watched my channel for a while you know we have three pugs and that is definitely like my thing so the only thing about this and if you are a Cricut user or 
you know, you have kind of um, experience with it, you know that you can kind of weld your letters together, which this was my first attempt at anything. And I was just so proud of myself that I even cut on the right side of the vinyl. <laughs> so um, going forward, I know now I need to weld my letters so I'm not peeling them off like piece by piece. So here is a little makeup bag that I got at Dollar Tree. And I love this so much. I did um, a monogram with an app right on my phone uploaded it to Cricut Design and here we go with a monogram and I think it looks really great. Now that being said, at the time that I made this I had no other color vinyl except gold and black. But anyways, I thought that the black was still fine even though this is a nice pastel. But um, I think that I'm going to be making these for some friends and I don't know some friends that I have on here I don't know um, but I think this is really nice too if you don't want to do a full monogram you could just do your first initial or whatever and so I've played around with a couple of these and these are just great because they're already sewn and um, I have made makeup bags in this style before just this very straight kind of envelope style almost um, where it just has um, this straight stitch all the way around and the single zipper um, but it's been a while and I sewed it by hand because I wasn't proficient enough with a sewing machine at the time um, and so I just thought this is already done and it's cute so I don't know I did that so I was pretty proud of that I also wanted to show you a couple other things that I've been working on and let me grab one of them right now okay Esther Luca if you are watching this is where you need to pause and come back in a minute or so if you're even interested um, because this is the beginnings of my project that I'm swapping with you so Esther Luca is an amazingly talented crafty person here on YouTube if you are not familiar with her channel please check her out that is her channel name Esther Luca and she does so many different types of crafty projects and she does great tutorials she explains everything and I just love her personality I just love her if you're watching you can turn this off for a while because I wanted to talk about the project that I'm working on to swap with you so now that she's gone, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about an altered book junk journal. This is my very first one. I'm going to be swapping with Esther and I just started it last night and it's going to be a little bit of a learning process, but I'm thinking about maybe making some follow-up videos on how I did mine. So this is the book and I covered it in paper already. So this is going to be the outside. And what I did was tear pages out. Um, Esther actually um, inspired me to do this because she had a really nice live video showing how she takes her pages out and how many and her process and how she gets the journal set up. So as you can see this has you know a bunch of pages missing and um, what you do is you replace the pages with um, scrapbooking paper and things like that and you just do the whole thing until it becomes a huge chunky project that um, the person you're gifting it to or trading with swapping with can actually journal in it so um, it getting crinkly like that and wavy from the glue is all part of it um, as far as I can see on a lot of people's projects so um, that actually isn't a horrible mistake it's just how the glue ends up and so um, the other thing that I'm going to try is creating my own journals but doing my own binding so my own sewing binding I'm going to sew the papers in and I ordered some new tools like you know to make the holes and the thread and the larger needles to do this so I'm very excited about trying that because I'm definitely into making personalized journals because I think that is so special and you can really put your stamp on it and just your trademark craftiness I just love that so that is something that I want to get into and actually I am getting into it so I'm going to continue making my journal tonight I love it so much and it's just so calming I don't know when you guys get into a crafting project it's I'm sure you find it as I do just extremely calming when you start to focus you kind of block out all the tensions and anxiety of the day and um, you know you just kind of focus and it just is really nice I don't know I just love it so that's that I have so much stuff that I could be doing hauls for and I've just been 
really too preoccupied to actually do those videos. So um, I'm going to try and get back in the swing of doing that. But I want to show you some I bought some of the Dollar Tree succulents. I did this exact same thing last year where I bought the succulents and I kind of repotted them, quote unquote, in little votive holders and I made my own rock garden and things like that. And um, so I did that last year and this year I didn't want to make a big rock garden or anything where I had tons of them because actually I was gifted one of those from John last year and um, he bought a TJ Maxx and I just don't need more than one of those. So <clears throat> I put some of the succulents into um, some of the square votive holders and I'll show you what they look like. They're just really simple, quick and easy. I'm definitely not saying I invented that or, you know, it's any type of tutorial at all. I'm just going to show you what I did with mine. Um, but it just looks really fresh, just clean for spring. So that is that. So let me unhook this um, tripod and I will show you what I This did. is my desk right now and I told you things were becoming a crazy mess um, but I'll just go around really quickly. It's not too out of hand like there's my, uh, my Cricut area and then I don't want to show you over there but there it is and then over here I have my new sewing machine and I'll show you really quickly. I got this Singer Simple and I'm going to be relying on my mom to show me how to use this because my mom was an excellent seamstress, such a great sewer, I guess. And um, I asked her if she would show me how to use it. I know she did when I was a lot younger. So I'm going to ask her to do it again because I just let myself get out of the habit. Here I have my mats. These are just my Cricut mats and things like that. It's all spread out. And these are the succulents that I was talking to you guys about. So um, you can see that I just used some rocks from the Dollar Tree. Nothing special. In fact, I should just move some of this junk so you can have a better view. But this is one. And I think it came out really, really adorably. It's just so cute. So I bought both picks and I bought regular um, potted succulents. And I love this one so much because it's lighter and it just, it gives a nice offset to the darker green colors. So I think that is really pretty, but I'm going to line these up. Um, I made three for work. I made three for home and I made three for my mom. So I have all different places to put these. And then here, this is just a little packet of stickers I got. This is probably going to go in my journal my junk journal that I'm making for Esther. Here's more of the picks from Dollar Tree. And here are some of the potted cacti. And I'm gonna do the same thing with them. I'm just gonna depot them and put them into like votive holders or something like I did last year. Like something just really simple, quick and easy. Um, I liked these especially because I thought they were really pretty and colorful. And then here I got some stickers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this brand, but this is, what the heck is this? Just a sticker book. The um, stylist for these stickers is Amy Tangerine. But who makes, oh, American Crafts. So this had been $20. I got a Joann's half off and then I had a 20% coupon. So I got this for eight bucks. And then these I got at Michael's. And these were just some crafting cards or tags. But I just thought these were really, really cute to add them into a journal. As you can see back here, of course, who doesn't love like the little champagne and wine bottles and a girl on a bicycle. I mean, it's just too cute. And then over here, I got this particular paper pack, which has some really beautiful paper samples in it. So as you can see, this is the theme that I'm gonna be working with for the junk journal. So here, John made his own little Cricut. We got these little knockoff Yetis, and this is so cute because it holds like just a cup of coffee. And I just thought it was, just really adorable in size and so um he made this one and then he made this one for his brother and I thought this was cool because it's a hammerhead shark and John has that tattoo on his leg and his brother and I think five of their friends have the exact same tattoo. Over here at Dollar Tree, I picked up this book, Stacey Ballas, Wedding Girl. And I really love this author. I think she's really talented and she writes really good stories. So um, it didn't also hurt that it has a pug on the cover. Here's another little 
cacti. And then I also got some two scarves like this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. If I'm just going to wear them as is or if I'm going to sew them together. Because I was in a habit of doing that for a while. But these have just like little potted plants on them. And they are so cute for spring. So these are just like different herbs and things like that. And I just thought that was a really, really cute and fun pattern. So here... I talked about these binders in my last crafting video, I believe. I got these at Target. These are the mini binders that I'm going to be storing stickers in. And I have decided that I'm going to make some kind of Cricut decal so I can personalize these. Because I think these are really, really cute. And they're just going to be cuter when I'm done with them. So I am looking forward to that. So that's quite the mess. So over here on our ironing board, I just, okay. I got some tote bags here, guys. I got some tote bag deals, like literally. Let me just show you that first. So I went to Walmart. This really isn't a huge mess. This is just stuff I'm working on. Um, this is the dollar spot tote bag that I got at Target. And I did a video on this and showed you how I monogrammed that. So I haven't used it yet. I still have the tag on it, but I just love it so much. I don't want to use it. Does that make sense? Like, I love it so much, I never want to use it. I mean, that's so dumb. But anyway, these tote bags here, Walmart came out with a new brand called True and Time or Tried and True. I can't remember. So they replaced these old, I, I say old, I guess they're replacing George, like the Walmart brand George. And so these were marked down to $7 and they have very similar ones by the time and true or something um the similar ones by that brand are 13 something I think they're just like under $14 these were marked down these by George to seven dollars and they actually rang up five bucks so the difference between the time and true from Walmart is that those actually came with a wristlet also these don't come with anything but they are reversible so I got I, I already did one of these for my mom she took it home so I got hers two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven totes for $35 and I'm going to monogram them all. And I just don't even know who I'm going to give them to, but I'm so excited about it. And of course that is the actual purpose of us having an elliptical, um, is to hold crafty stuff like this. That's just keeping me organized. This is certainly not for exercise. Let me tell you. So anyway, over here, um, I have a hanger. I don't know why. Um, but actually, we do iron in here sometimes. So I just have some other little things. I got these at Dollar Tree, too. These are little keychains, and I'm going to monogram the flip side. So um, that's that. And I got a whole bunch of picture frames down here that I need to sort. So for the most part, this room isn't... It's a controlled mess, if that makes sense. It's just... It's not quite out of hand, but... It's getting there, you know. Oh, and I bought these tumblers at Sam's Club. There's two in a pack. And these are just like knockoff white colored Yetis instead of stainless. So I'm going to personalize those, of course. And then here, this is another little makeup bag in another form of a monogram that I did. And I just didn't iron this on yet. And I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I want to because I'm really happy with the way the other one turned out that I showed you. But we'll see. So, speaking of going bananas, as is my style, um, when I get into something new, I have these rolls that I picked up from Walmart, and if you're just looking for basic black vinyl in the Cricut brand, I think that Walmart is the place to get it. It's like $5, maybe like $4.87. It's very inexpensive. And then this gold glitter vinyl that I picked up, I think this was like $11 maybe, still cheaper than Michael's. But if you come over here, I will show you in some of these boxes. Guys, if you are looking for these boxes that are typically made to hold um, oh, scrapbook paper, 12 by 12, they were on sale, um, buy one, get two free, or three for the price of one, something. So I got three of these for $9.99 at Michael's, which was such a deal. So never pay more than that because apparently they go on sale pretty often for that. So in here I have some Cricut material and some other stuff. But here I have more rolls of different vinyls, decals, window cling, iron-on transfers, HTV, whatever. Um, it, 
iron on transfer or HTV is like heat transfer vinyl. It's not actually HTV, let's watch a craft show or home improvement show. <laughs> so that is actually it. That is what I have going on. And let me flip this back around. So that's my story and I told you guys in my craft room tour that I promise to always keep it real and not stage anything or make the room look more finished, clean, whatever staged than it actually is. So um, I'm going to continue that style with these videos and show you things and just be very candid and real life about it because I think that if you are somebody who loves to craft and work in your office and do different things and also I have a makeup station in here and of course you know I have the elliptical over there which I do actually use sometimes I won't lie just not enough to actually make any type of difference um but you know your space gets messy and unless you are somebody who is just like my hero and you clean up as you go every time you do something because I'm not quite there um Usually I save all my cleaning for the weekends because I work Monday through Friday, I have a full-time job, and I save all my cleaning and house stuff to do for the weekend. And then when the weekend gets here, I'm like, hey, I wanna rest. Like, I don't want to clean. The weekend is for resting, so I just don't know when the right time is. But anyway, so that's what I'm facing. But I'm gonna do a really quick cleanup in here when I wrap this up, and then I'll do a deep clean by the end of this weekend. And I'll take you along for that too. You know, no secrets here in the craft room. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you did so. I would love for you um, to make comments, let me know what you're working on and things like that. I honestly do try to get back to every single comment. Of course, I read all of them, but sometimes, you know, there's a video here and there where I, I don't get back and I feel so bad about it. But sometimes, you know, everyday life and work and things like that, they just kind of get, you know, pushed front and pushed in front and, um, you know, I don't get back. But I'm, I am sorry about that and I truly do genuinely have every intention to answer everybody. So, um, yeah, if you want to leave me a comment, <laughs> please feel free to. And um, I just appreciate you watching and supporting me and being there and just being a friendly face in YouTube. So hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.